Hello, hello everyone. So I'm pretty excited um, to share some of these little videos with you and I'm gonna put them all in a uh, playlist so that you can go to this playlist and go through these little 15 minute, maybe 20 minute is gonna be where I'm trying to hold the max time. Um, and just practice and learn and we're going with the basics. So if you have never done watercolor or maybe you're still a beginner, you are my people. And although I've been painting for decades and decades, I love teaching beginners. I love sharing the excitement and the beauty and the magic of watercolors. It's one of my favorite things. So with that being said, let's just dive right in here and I'm just gonna go through some things that you will want to pick up if you want to start playing with uh, watercolors. And I will do my best to give you a couple different options, uh, but I really feel if you're just starting out to start with some of the basics and make sure you even like this medium. Um, and so let's get started. Uh, thank you for being here. And for those of you that have been with me for a while, you know I don't edit my videos, so you know they're not as refined as some of the other wonderful teachers out there, but just the same, I hope to bring you the value. And um, if you have any questions, reach out to me, comment down below, and, and I will try and link all uh, of my supplies that I think would be great for a beginner. Um, and we'll kind of go with that. So before we get started, um, I, I want to share with you just a few kind of basics, um, that I think are great for beginners and they're good quality for the money. So this is a paper I share really often. It's the Artisto brand. Um, they sell them in a three pack on Amazon. I think they're $20, but, uh, they're less than that. And they always have this um, five or 10% coupon. So I will give you the link down below and um, you will love these. And I like them because they come in this spiral binder and uh, you can go through your book and go through as you're painting inside um, and reflect back on some of these practices I'll be sharing. Um, this is just something I was painting on, but this is 140 pound, 300 GSM cold press. I like cold press um, because it has this wonderful texture. It's uh, kind of thick and I, I like that. The hot pressed, uh, you'll learn about later, is much smoother. I like the, the uh, cold press. So I will link below. I think this is a great, great um, pad and it comes in a three pack. Great to invest in. So that's your paper. I have two different choices. I love Princeton, so I tend to use this Princeton brush all the time. Uh, these are about maybe $10 and I will link. Uh, I say if you're gonna bring uh, one brush to your practice to start with, bring the round brush. This is a number eight. Um, so I will link that for you. That's a little bit more. Um, again, that's the Princeton. I, I found these wonderful brushes, and I have every kind of brush you could imagine. Uh, these are the Degados. It comes in a set, and I think it's like $11, and you get all kinds of sizes. I like it because um, the Princeton brush is a little bit softer. I like the tip and the uh, bristles on the Degado. They're quite a bit firmer um, and what they call snappy. Uh, so to me, they hold their shape and they have that beautiful point. So those are going to be the uh, supplies you'll need. From home, I buy these little, um, they're really common, the ball wide mouth jars. I suggest you have two of those, um, one for washing, one for rinsing. It's really important with watercolors because they are so transparent that you're not carrying over dirty water into each of your colors when you're switching colors. So have your two containers of water, one to wash, one to rinse. And then paper towel from home is great so we can be dabbing off our brush. Um, as far as paints, there's lots of different choices. Um, 
a week ago or so, or so I shared this, um, I think is a great beginner's palette. Um, it's called My Ling. I will, again, link it below. What's wonderful is you get all these colors because in the beginning, mixing colors and finding beautiful shades is a little overwhelming for beginners. So this has every shade. Like you don't have to mix anything. It has your primary colors. It has your secondary colors. It has your tertiaries. It's a wonderful little palette. And actually, if you don't wanna buy the brush yet, they give you this little brush in there. Um, so you get everything you need here. It comes in this fun, I think aesthetically fun um, little palette. It even has the little ring on the back um, to hold your palette if you like. So that's your paint. You can also go, if you're not sure you're going to stick with watercolors, I wouldn't invest in the tubes. Um, I would definitely just pick up an inexpensive watercolor palette because in the beginning, it's really gonna be about learning the brush strokes, creating muscle memory. So you have that confidence to paint. Um, so, you know, don't invest in too much. What I would invest in is, is your paper I'd spend the most on. That's just personal preference for me. Um, and give yourself, you know, with this, you get the three pads for under $20 and it's going to give you lots of practice sheets and as well, it's binded. So you can be going through, you can refer back to what you're learning. Um, so for me, that's where I would spend my money. Um, you can buy these Degato brushes, which are relatively inexpensive. Um, so you're maybe talking here, if you buy this, I believe it's about $20 online with Amazon. Um, you don't have to buy this one though. You can buy just an inexpensive watercolor. And I'm, I'm talking, this is for the beginner who isn't sure if you're gonna stick with this. You just wanna play and dabble in it at first. So those are my recommendations. Also have um, a spray bottle. I know that sounds weird to you beginners so that you can, uh, when you have your pan paints, they're hard. So before we paint each time, we're going to use a spray bottle. We're going to spray them that activates them and softens them and gets them ready to use. Um, so there you go. It gives you this perfect little mixing uh, palette up above. And that's really all you need. So you could get away with your biggest investment is going to be with the Artisto pads. And really, I can't stress enough. You may be saying, I don't need three pads. Um, you know, I, I can't tell you enough. Use the three pads. Like, give this a shot. Um, once you go through your three pads, then maybe invest in something a little bit more. But I've been painting for decades, and I still love how these react with paper. I've used tons of different papers, from student grade to the really expensive um, papers, and I just love these. So there you go. I hope to see you back again and um, subscribe below so that you can find me and I will put together a playlist for all of you new beginners out there and I'm so excited to start this journey with you. Um, and this is where you come first just to get a grasp on what supplies might help you. All right, I'm so excited to be here with you all and um, I think that's it. We will see you soon. Happy painting, everybody.